Good day to all the participants of this virtual conference organized by the International Organization for Health, Sports, and Physiology. I'm Mr. Joe Vigaliardo, and I'm here to present to you the attitude of selected Filipino high school students toward physical education. In 2013, the Department of Education established a curriculum for kindergarten to grade 12 wherein the physical education subject is focused on fitness and movement education. Because that Ed believes the students taking physical education will develop and improve the physical skills through physical literacy necessary for their lifelong physical activity participation. Based on research is conducted, factors that could affect attitude and physical activity of children were attitude and preference. In addition, students' participation in drafting the curriculum for physical education was encouraged. I analyzed the correlation of attitude of the high school students towards physical education in relation to grade level, sex, but also to determine the overall attitude compared to attitude in terms of sex, grade level, and sex within each grade level. And lastly, their activity preference by sex and grade level. Here are my hypotheses regarding the attitude towards PE that there is no significant difference in sex, no significant difference in grade, towards grade level, and no significant difference by sex within each grade level. The studies are quantitative and descriptive were in Catholic school in Makati City, Philippines, was chosen. Actual participants of 864 were participants are from grade 7 to grade 12. Students who are taking alternative learning system were excluded in the study. Uh, documentation, such as uh, a permit to conduct study was excluded, and the results were treated with confidentiality. I used a questionnaire developed by Dr. Howard Jane, which there are 30 questions. And this questionnaire has a reliability coefficient of 0.92, intra-class intra -class correlation coefficient of 0.90, and scale validity coefficient of 0.93. The frequency and percentage was uh, utilized to see the profile of the public respondent. Mean score to determine the level of attitude towards physical education by sex, grade level, and sex within each grade level, as well as the overall attitude. Man with me will test to uncertain the significant difference in the levels of attitude towards PE classified by sex, both for the entire data within each grade level. Also, I use a uh, crucial Wallis dance test to uh, use, utilize the post of uh, test. Here in this figure, we can see the different uh, number of respondents from grade seven to grade 12, where in grade seven has the highest number of participants with 246, while grade 12 has the least number with 36. A significant relationship between attitude towards PE and grade level However, there's a weak, uh, very weak positive association was found, indicating that both variable attitude and grade level tend to go up as one reacts to the other. However, the relationship is very strong. It's not that very strong. In this table, we can see using the chi, chi squared test and the B, famous B test, says that there's no significant correlation between attitude towards PE and sex. The association of the variables are very weak based on the Kramer's B test. We can see that there's a positive attitude among the participants with mean score of 3.65. This reveals the comparison of attitude of students by, in physical education by sex, shows there's no significant uh, comparison. A significant difference in this table was seen though in attitude uh, using the Kushkal-Wallis H test. After conducting the DUNS test, 
reveals that grade eight and grade 12 show significant difference within with all other grade levels. Grade seven and grade 10 also significant difference with each other. Here in this table, we can see that there's no significant difference by sex within grade levels. Sex was found, that was found not to be uh, a factor in determining the attitude of, of, uh, of students towards physical education. In this figure, we can see the preferences of uh, respondents for in team sports, the preferred physical activity for the students, followed by individual and dual respectively. The distribution of students' preference shows that the majority of the participants choose team sports with 547 and they have the highest mean score of 3.68. Despite the of the low, low turnout of students, of those who chose individual and dual sports, their mean scores are relatively high. After conducting a dance test, the preference have significant, the, uh, shows that, um, that the individual and team sports have significant difference with 0.0040. This table reveals that they, the males have significant difference in terms of attitude across preference. Their counterpart, on the other hand, shows no significant difference uh, across preference. We can see here that the male dominated the team sport and uh, dual sport or individual sport should uh, individual sport uh, and team sport was compared in this test. In this table, we can see that there's no significant uh, comparison in terms of preference, attitude and preferences by grade level. In another figure, we can see that there's no significant in comparison of attitude and preferences by grade level and sex. In this figure, we can see that, there, that these respondents answered yes with 68% in case of uh, should I say, um, there will the answer to the open-ended question in the questionnaire, uh, they will have the same answer if the study was conducted before the pandemic. 32% mentioned that they will have a different answer. Here are some of the re common reasons of those students who answered no. So we focus on those 32%. Uh, we can see that 58 uh, respondents or 22% provided with no answer, provide no answers. The variables in, like attitude and grade level tend to go up as one way after the other. However, the relationship is not that strong. This may be attributed to the restriction caused by the lockdown and the quarantine protocols, as well as the decrease in participation in physical activity. No significant difference was also found in some researches like Eturan et al. in 2011, Zeng et al. in 2011 as well, and by Chatterjee in 2013. After conducting a post of one step, we can see that there was a significant difference between grade 8 and grade 12, where in grade 8 uh, was observed to be less participative. Grade 12, on the other hand, shows their maturity and uh, based on experience on how to um, uh, participate in physical ed uh, education classes. Grade 7 and grade 12 show significant differences with contrasting means course of attitude. The school offering is totally different from the students' preferences. Team sports emerges as top choice by students fall, followed by individual and dual. In terms of team sports, basketball is the preferred choice, preferred activity by male and volleyball for the female. Swimming, on the other hand, is the preferred individual sport for both male and female, while badminton preferred dual sport by both male and female. Male participants show the significant difference in attitude across preferences by sex. Males who were, who were in team sports show the significant difference with those males who choose individual in dual sports. This only shows that, uh, that males must be in team sports because, of the, uh, because it will 
improve the social literature at the, at the same time, they would like to work uh, with other uh, classmates or teammates. 261 of the responded, and 32% answered no in an open ended question. And here are some of the uh, common answers by the respondents. For the conclusion, we can see that there's no significant, uh, there's significant correlation between attitude towards PE and grade level. No significant relationship between attitude towards PE and sex. There's no significant difference in terms of attitude and sex. And within uh, sex within each grade level, Significant differences, on the other hand, were found between attitude towards PE across grade level, preferences, and preferences by sex. No significant differences were found in the attitude towards PE across preferences by grade level and sex within each grade level. Generally, there's positive attitude among the participants. And of course, just like what I mentioned earlier, uh, those who were and who answered no in the open ended question said that their attitude changed towards physical fitness. Future studies, we recommend that uh, there should be a comparison between the students of private schools compared to public schools. And in the research of other variables that could have a strong association with uh, attitude towards physical education. Maximize and utilize the result in order to improve the curriculum of physical education in the respective schools. Allow the students to voice to hear their voice in crafting our curriculum for physical education. And lastly, we should equip our teachers with new ideas and trends in relation to the delivery of student-centered activities in physical education. With that. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day.